Job, it's ball four. First and second that now with four. one away. The third base, number two six. on here with one Anthony. man out. And that'll bring up Anthony, Anthony Rendon. From the belt, kicks and deals. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in. That Great is chance it. to drive in a run here in the early going. Castro. First pitch on its way. Ball. Down and away, one ball and no strikes. The 1 0. Ball. And a fastball runs a bit inside. He's down 2 0. Two men are on with two men out. Behind on the swing that time, and it's 2 and 1. Two and one, here it is. Sent out to straightaway center field. Kane is under it. And that retires the side. So here is Avisayo Garcia. He'll lead things off here in the bottom here half of the first. For the Brewers, the left fielder, Avisayo. Garcia. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. Ball. One zero. -oh. Ready with the one zero -oh pitch. Ball. Two zero. -oh. Two balls and a strike. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he's set down for the first out. Batting second. Next for Milwaukee, field. Lorenzo Kane. Here's the first Kane. pitch to him. Sent on the ground out to second. Lestella fields it cleanly. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. That Coming to the plate now, Christian right Yelich. Field. No one aboard Chris for him, yeah. and two gone here in the first. Yelich. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. And he holds oh. up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. Oh, one strike. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Here's Justin Upton now. He'll lead it off here to begin the second. The left fielder, number eight. Justin Upton. First pitch on its way to Upton. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. A 2 0 oh count to the Angels' left fielder. Not holding back on the 2 0 -oh cutter, but it's 2 and 1 now. And Upton lays off again, and he's in control of the count. It's 3 and 1. He walked the guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Striding forward now is the DH, Matt Sice, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now here it comes. 
No score here as we play inning number two. One and one the count. And the pitch. Now a wave and a miss looked like the slider there. The one two. Misses ball two. Heading out towards shallow right. After it is Yelich. He gets there, and that's the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And stepping in the former MVP, Albert Pujols. Here comes the first pitch. One strike to Pujols. Breaking ball called just a bit low. I don't know if that was a great take or he got fooled. He's certainly trying to play it off like he knew what was coming. You could bet he'd be on alert for that curveball again. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around. It's strike three. Bottom of the inning now, and standing in is the DH, Omar Narvaez. The designated hitter, Omar Narvaez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. That's by him for strike one. Ah, he couldn't catch up with the gas that time. This hitter right now looks overmatched with a fastball. I think you go right back to it. Lays off the one two changeup and he's worked it back to two and two. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now on two and two, but boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. Three and two now. Rolled slowly down the first baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Batting fifth, the first baseman, Ryan Braun. Here's Ryan Braun now as he comes up empty on a pitch right down the middle for strike one. And a big swing there by Braun, but he comes up empty. No balls and two strikes. Hey, I thought he was going to work around them right here in this situation. But after getting two swinging strikes, there's a change of game plan. I guarantee he's going right after him. On Braun can't come up with that, that one as he it. swings and misses the for the first man. out. That's there. You're up. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hit high and deep to right center. Trout giving chase. But he can't get to it. And that'll score the runner from second as it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. The third baseman, Eric. Here's Eric Sogard. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike.
to first. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Only play will be to the pitcher covering, and the runner will advance to third now. Ready now, Orlando Garcia, runner in That's scoring position with two guns. Orlando Garcia. Here comes the first pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. And the run is in to score from third. It's a 2 0 ball game. Batting ninth, the catcher, Manny Pina. To the plate now, Manny Pina, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. Trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel to that one. A little bit off the outside. It's 1-2. and two. You know, I think he's having a hard time with that curveball right now, and that's part of the reason why he struggled early on in the start. It's so important to have command of those. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Next batter to the plate, Brian Goodwin. Leading off for hey, we're game. still in the early stages the in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. Brian but it's really key Goodwin. for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. This is in the air out to left field. And it looks like he'll have extra bases here to begin the third. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Up next for the Angels, the second baseman, Tommy LaStella. Here's Tommy LaStella now. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. And a fastball here that's taken for ball two. No one out with a runner at second. A little roller toward the hole. And that's the first down. So there's the first down oh, here in the game. Angels third. And, and standing in one of the best Andrew two strike hitters in baseball, yeah. Andrelton Simmons. From the belt, the pitch. Drilled on the ground to short. Garcia gloves it. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. So bases are empty here with two gone, and standing in, the ever-dangerous Mike Trout. First pitch coming, here it is. And that misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. Grounded foul off to the left near Brian Butterfield in the third base coaching box. Here's Trout waiting on the 1 1. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's 2 and 1. Can't find the zone there, and it's 3 and 1. And obviously, this guy's a double threat up there. He can run, and he can go yard, too. You don't want to walk him because he might steal a base on you, but you don't want to groove a fastball either because he could take you out of the yard. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. From the belt, the pitch. Anthony Rendon is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1 0. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now.
to two balls and two strikes now. Two balls, two strikes. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Two out with the man at first. No. Tried to get him with the cutter, but it's a full count, three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Up next for the angle. So striding in, Jason Castro. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. The cutter runs outside, ball one. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Lifted the other way to left center. Kane on the move. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. of the third now and standing in is the veteran outfielder Avisail Garcia. Avisail Garcia. First delivery to him on the way. So a rather weak start to the at bat as he misses badly there. It's 0-1. And it's 0-2 to Avisail Garcia. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball? Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Standing in, Lorenzo Kane. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now here's the pitch. And no swing, apparently. Ball 1. No strike. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. The 1-1. One, one. Takes a pitch for strike number two. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the now inning. The right field ready for another chance. Yeah. Christian Yelich. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Now here it comes. Fouled off. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. Now batting the designated hitter. So now to the Omar. plate, Omar Narvaez. Narvaez. Line hard, but foul. The windup and the 0-1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Upton on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Justin Upton. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And there's ball one. A little bouncer. The one two. And he fouls this one off. The one two. 
is taken for ball two. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. Now here's the pitch. Lifted in the air out to right. Yelich is under it, one away. Now, now batting, batting Matt Sykes. So far, Matt. 0 for 1 with a flyout. Oh. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. In there, and it's even at one. Thice, just 24 years of age. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. Three and two. The count is full to the Angels DH. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Love we'll to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. Now this is foul tipped right into the catcher's glove as he holds on to preserve the strikeout. And there are two away. Albert Pujol. First offering on its way. On couldn't lay off the pitch inside. It's 0-1. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. And that misses downstairs for a ball, one and one. Playing 11, one, one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Another try at 2 2. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Kane is under it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And set to go is the veteran first baseman, Ryan Braun. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. This is line to left. Into a slide, and he makes a great catch for the first down. Now back. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And in at the plate steps Keston Euro. Here's the first pitch to him. Started to swing there, but did he hold up in time? He did not, says Ed Drummond at first, and that's strike one. The windup and the 0 1. Hard on the ground towards short. And a base hit into left field, so they've got themselves a one out base runner. The third baseman, number seven, Eric Sogard. At the plate, Eric Sogard. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 and 0. Oh. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Hit in the air to shallow center. Trout coming on. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So a runner at first with two away. And up next will be the Orlando. shortstop, Orlando Arcia. 
from the belt. The pitch. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Hit back up the middle, taken in by Simmons. Let's also go to La Stella at second, and the force out means the inning is over. Trying to pick things up where we left off, Brian Goodwin. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one, his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. And he'll step off. Here comes the first pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Then they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that 0-2 breaking ball, but you got to be careful because this pitcher might throw him another one. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Hey, expect a challenge right here. Does not want to run the count full. Shoots this one over to first. Reined in. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Back to the top the of the order now, and that'll bring in Tommy Lastella to Tommy bat next. Lastella. First pitch of the at bat on its way, and right into the shift. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Right side and right into the shift. Scooped up. And that's the second out. In now is Andrelton Simmons. He's one for two in this one. Andrelton Simmons. Here's the pitch. Line towards center field. Oh, and he misses it. Up next for the Angels, the center fielder, Mike Brown. And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Trout is simply an all-around great defensive outfielder. Not only does he have great range and great hands, he's also got a plus arm, one that base runners and base coaches certainly have to be mindful of. Absolutely. When you are in the meeting room preparing for this guy, it is the first thing that jumps off the page. Do not take the extra base. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Now the 2-1 is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And up next is the catcher, Manny Pena. The catcher, 
Manny Pina. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit out towards second. And there's one away. So one Number gone two. in the Milwaukee Number fifth. 24. That'll bring up Avi Sayu Garcia. Garcia. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt a hitter that it's going to be a strike. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. A ball and two strikes. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. And it's fouled away. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. In the air now, out to right field. Goodwin is there. Two down. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Lorenzo Kane. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Pitch is popped up. Pujols will put this one away and the side is retired. Stepping up to the plate, Anthony Rendon. Over one for him here in this one. The third baseman, number six, Anthony Rendon. First pitch of the at bat. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Pitch on the way. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Hey, every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Ground ball left side. Defense set up perfectly. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Up next Stepping game. in, Jason Castro. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. One and one to Jason Castro. Lifted in the air out to center field. Kane is after it. He makes the running play. Two down. So oh, two gone the in the inning now, and here's Justin Upton. Justin Upton. First pitch on its way to Upton. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack, but also the guy on the mound's got to eat too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough 
to score some runs. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Two and one. And Upton lays off again, and he's in control of the count. It's three and one. Three one count, tying run on the on deck circle. You have to be very careful right here to make a quality pitch on three and one. Full count, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Ground ball right into the shift. Garcia fields it cleanly. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and coming forward the veteran outfielder Christian Yelich. Yeah, in his right last at bat, he hit a changeup yeah. out for a home run. So it'll be yeah, interesting this AB to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Upton's under it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Omar Narvaez. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. Boys, we see the pitch count. It's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently. Hey, this guy has really been attacking the zone, and this lineup has been more than happy to swing at a lot of pitchers' pitches so far. The 1 1 home. Misses for the second ball. All even now, 2 and 2. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. Ground ball right side. And this will get through into right and he's aboard with a single. The first baseman number eight. Ryan. Braun. Into the box now. Ryan Braun hit in the air down the right field line. But this will land untouched. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 0-1 pitch. On the ground to second base. This could be two. Simmons throw on to Pujols. They get them both, and they end the inning. Seventh inning ready to roll and striding forward the designated hitter Matt Seitz. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Here comes the first pitch. Pulled toward right center field. After it is Kane. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. So one away now for the Angels in the seventh. And standing in the machine, Albert Pujols. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. The 1-0. One oh. oh. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. 
hit hard on the ground at third. And a sliding try there at third, but it skips by him a base hit. Throw into second. But he'll be in there with a double. The right fielder, number 18, Brian Goodwin. Standing in now, Brian Goodwin. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. A hit and two tries for him so far. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Rounded softly down the line toward first. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. From the stretch. And a fastball blew it right by him and there are two down. Back to the top of the Angels lineup now and stepping in, Tommy LaStella. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Getting a few steps off a second there, now the pitch. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. Uh, this gets foul, it's 0-1. One and one to Tommy LaStella. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. And he doesn't want him to get off to a big lead out there at second, so he steps off to look him back. Still one and two as he fouls it away. I'm shocked he was even able to foul that one away. Now he's got to set his sights back over the heart of the plate and maybe be ready for something inside. He'll try again one two. And this one's in the dirt but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Here's the two two. On the ground to the right side. Ah, it's flagged down deep in the hole. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. With a traditional seventh inning stretch. And that'll bring up Keston Huron. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. The second baseman, Keston Huron. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he takes ball one. The 1-0. -oh. He is swung on and missed in that strike one. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. Started to go around, but he's able to check his swing for ball three. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Now so a runner at first now with base. nobody out. And Air that will bring in utility man extraordinaire Sogard. Eric Sogard. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Three runs, six hits. And no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. Fouled away. And he popped him up. In there, a base hit.
the batter, number three, shortstop, Orlando, Arcia. Now a spin and a throw back to second. Oh, and it throws him, and they got him. Next to bat, Orlando Arcia. He swings and grounds it to short. Simmons has it. The second for one. And an offline throw, but he puts the tag on for route number three. Ready to begin the eighth. And standing in, one of the best two-strike hitters in baseball, Andrelton Simmons. Andrelton Simmons. Now the pitch. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Line drive to left. That's in for a base hit. He's now 3 for 4. Lead off hitters aboard, and that means the time run will come forward here in the late innings. The center fielder, number 27, Mike Brown. In now, Mike Trout as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. A couple of walks for him thus far. Oh and one here it comes in the dirt here good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one from the belt the pitch now a fastball as he has to lean out of the way there not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not but I liked it as a pitcher sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off the plate by running something hard inside you can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the batter's box against you the three one is in there for a full count now three and two he'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that fouled off He's set. Here's the three and two. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. Number six. Settling in Anthony now, Anthony Rendon. Rendon. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Well, the Angels have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it. But now sure would be a great time. A swing and he pops him up on the infield and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Now to the plate Jason Castro who could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. pitch coming here it is with some traffic on the base pass nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one now 
Now a changeup in on the hands that evens it at one and one. Has a look, now the pitch. Now a bluff back to second as he'll just hold on to it. The one two. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third and ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. Justin Upton, the next now to bat. hit. And a Let's big at bat in this one. Two in. on, two away okay. here in the eighth. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. 2-0 and now. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. 3-0 and now. Three and one. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove him one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Three two pitch. A bouncer up the middle. Garcia has it. Throw on to first. He'll be in time, and a good chance for the Angels goes for not as the side is retired. Ready once again, Manny Pena. No hits to this point. The catcher, Manny Pena. Here's the first pitch to him. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball. One and one. Hey, that's just a great mix of pitches right there, and that's what this guy's going to do if he's going to keep this team off balance. A swing and a ground ball to third, but a foul ball, one and two now. The count is two and two to the Brewers catcher. Playing two balls, two strikes. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. The next three-two. He is swung on and missed. He got him. So here's Abisayu Garcia. Double it was a flyout for him in his last trip. Abisayu Garcia. First delivery to him on the way. He'll hold oh. off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Liner towards second, but right to the second baseman, and that's the second out. And now in to hit next is Lorenzo Kane. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. First pitch on its way. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Hey, even though this guy's a righty hitter, he's going to get pounded with that two seamer. He needs to make sure he catches this thing out front if he sees that pitch again. He pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Kane on his way to second. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. Now batting, right fielder, Christian Yellen. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left hander here to face the upcoming left handed batter. Number 46, Ryan Booker. And here's Christian Yelich now. And he fouls this one off.
Trying to keep the game close. Here's the pitch. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Name of the game out on the mound is to disrupt timing of the hitters in the box. He certainly got this guy on the defensive. To one and two now. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three. And the inning is over. Next will be the designated hitter, Matt Seitz. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Nine. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. And this is fouled at the plate. Now the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Up next for the eight. Here's Albert now. The it was a two-bagger for Albert. him in his last at bat. First offering on its way. And it's fouled away. One out, nobody on. Drilled right back up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. Now batting, the right fielder, Brian Goodwin. Into the box, Brian Goodwin. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. That's wide, 2-0. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Two and one. Well executed fastball right at the knees. Going to be a long day for this offense if he stays in that spot. Two and two. Sometimes you can get away with a pitch in that location when you're running it up there that hard, but not consistently. You still have to work the edges of the zone most of the time. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Another 2-2 offering. Ball three. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. The batter number nine. Now back to the Second top eight. of the lineup. Stepping oh, in, Tommy Lastella. He what comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And a ball, one and oh. A runner on first with two away. A little over anxious that time as it's a ball and a strike. Fouled away. 41,900 strong on their feet here at Miller Park. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. 3-1 to one the final. The Milwaukee Brewers took the lead the in the second inning and rode 